Well, we had an excellent start to the ice fishing season at that reservoir in Pennsylvania. Be sure to check out that video. But uh, since then, things have been a real struggle for me. We finally got safe ice here in New York. So I've been fishing all the small waters in my area around Oleand, and uh, it's just been a bit of a struggle. So today's video is another compilation video of all the places that I've fished so far and uh, the few fish that I've caught. So one of the very first places to get safe in the Olean area is the local birch run ponds. And as you will see, uh, the ice was very thin there. This is my first time getting on New York State ice. My dad was going to join me. However, when he saw how thin the ice was, he decided to chicken out, which is probably a wise decision. Uh, it's about, only about two and three quarters an inch of ice. Somebody drilled some holes right here, so I'm just gonna fish where this person was fishing. I started going that way, sputting my way out. Once you get past here, it goes from like two and three quarters of an inch of ice to about two inches of ice. Just past here, which is I'm pretty sure why this person didn't go any further. So I'm not gonna go any further. It starts getting really, really sketchy once you get below two inches of, of ice. There's, there's no room for error at that point. If one spot's a little bit thinner than two inches, you're going in. Wanna say hi to YouTube? <laughs> <laughs> I was lined up in the archives if I don't catch anything, but uh, we're all set up. My dad went for a walk. He's taken off now, so if I fall in, I'm going to be all alone. I want to get that bobber, but the ice is real thin right next to shore. That's a good bobber. That's one of the expensive ones. Messing around here, I actually remembered the fish finder today, which is my dad's, so thank you for letting me use this thing. And you can see we got our tip-up set up. I only set up four today. Normally, I set up all my tip-ups, uh, all the ones that I'm allowed to anyway. I'd fish with probably six tip-ups and one jig and pull here, but uh, today, obviously, I don't want to be running around the ice since it's very, very thin. Actually, let's officially see. This scoop has got a measurement on it. I can give you an official reading. That says three inches right here. Three inches right here. Three inches right here. A half of an inch is that is white ice, though. Minute my dad goes to sleep, the fish shows up. Oh, he's on the jig, he's biting. There we go, got him. <laughs> the minute my dad left. All right, well, it's a little one, but <laughs> I'm gonna show him real quick. <laughs> I don't think you can see me. I'm not shut out. Well, he's leaving. <laughs> <laughs> that's exciting. The fact that there's tiny bluegill here, um, that's a, a very good sign. Because, uh, especially with us jigging right here, what's going to happen? That is a tiny bluegill. Look at that. Ooh. Boy, do I want to put him on a tip up? I'll let it go for now. If I get really bored, maybe we'll uh, throw one on a tip up. Uh, as I was saying, we've got uh, these tip ups surrounding us. So, um, the fact that we caught that tiny bluegill is a good thing because. I'm down here jigging. I'm going to be attracting attention, attracting these tiny bluegills. And uh, so hopefully if we can get, you know, the bluegills coming into this area, those little baby bluegills, um, then the, the, the big pike and stuff will come in here chasing around those bluegills and see one of the minnows on one of my tip-ups. I've never caught pike here during the ice season, so I, I'm mainly just fishing for whatever bites, uh, primarily panfish. All right, I got him. Bigger bluegill. Yep. Just a bigger bluegill. What is it? A bigger bluegill. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this one's this one's eating size. Whoop, barely. Yeah. That one's about seven and a half, eight inches. Talking to my friend Zach, who you've probably seen in my videos a long time ago, back when I was at Paul Smith's. So all I caught that night were a couple of little bluegill. Not a very good start to the New York State ice season. That said, I was also confined to that little corner of the pond because the ice was so thin, I was kind of scared to go anywhere. A week later, I decided to try one of the res ponds in the Salamanca area. Once again, the ice was rather sketchy. I think we're on top of water now. That is not good ice. That is bunk ice. You're cracking underneath me. That's not good. I hate that cracking. I really don't like that cracking. There we go. That's a little bit better ice. 
Okay. I don't know, folks. I don't like the fact that, you know, I can punch in, pull it out at a different angle. That's not good. It's thick enough, though. It's four inches. Four or five inches. Four or five inches of slush ice. wonder why this didn't get good ice on it. Thank you. It's dead. We got this camera, so that's good. Let's see what we got. Huh. That's a good start. Wow. I was not expecting a crappy. Makes me wonder if I should move the whole dang shanty down here. Check that out, folks. It's a keeper, I think. I think I'm going to throw it back. <laughs> First fish of the day. I'm going to let it go. Oh, I forgot to take a picture. <laughs> That's a good start. Fishing there wasn't very good either. I had one flag. So we finally got a deep, deep freeze where some of the bigger waters in my area got safe. Uh, in the middle of that deep freeze, I decided to head towards Cuba Lake to check out the Josh Allen snow sculpture. Um, it's an annual thing whenever there's snow. Um, there's a, a talented artist out there whose name I forget at the moment. I'll put his name in the description, uh, who does these snow sculptures for the Bills every single year. And uh, it raises money for charity somehow, too. So it's a cool thing. Decided to go check out that snow sculpture and uh, try out Cuba Lake, which is actually the nearest large lake to Olean to fish. However, it's a very difficult place to fish. So excited about taking pictures of it. Almost forgot to get a video of the Josh Allen snow sculpture right here in Cuba, New York. Really cool to have something really cool uh, right next to where I live. Um, of course, we are going to now head over to Cuba Lake to attempt some ice fishing. But I figure I'll show you all this to start today's vlog. How cool. Check this out. First that cool Josh Allen snow sculpture. Now, out here on the ice on Cuba Lake itself, there's a, a really cool uh, Bill's Buffalo. Bill's Mafia is very strong here in Allegheny County. Well, all the Bill's Mafia stuff around Cuba Lake and on Cuba Lake was really cool. However, I didn't catch any fish on Cuba Lake. That was my first time in 2022 being skunked. Cuba Lake is a tough lake. I've never done very well there, uh, open water fishing or ice fishing, but you know, it's a big lake. It's in my area. There's some big fish in there. So it's always worth a try and uh, getting to see that cool Bill's stuff, that snow sculpture especially, certainly made the trip worth it. Uh, the rest of this video is from Allegheny State Park. During that deep freeze, really all the waters in the area got safe and uh, Red House and Quaker Lake uh, got plenty safe with plenty of ice on them. So hope you enjoy the rest of the video. Man, oh man, how the mighty has fallen. It's a gorgeous 40 degree day in January, just past first ice. Best time of the year to ice fish and I'm the only one out here. It's exciting and sad at the same time. Uh, I mean, obviously I'm happy to be the only one out here and have this whole gorgeous lake to myself, but uh, it's just kind of sad how, uh, how much the productivity here at Quaker Lake has fallen over the years. Uh, this used to be one of the most popular ice fishing destinations in all of western New York. To see nobody out here on a gorgeous day like today is kind of sad. Uh, a couple years ago it really got fished out, more than a couple years ago, it was like 10 years ago now. I remember I came out here one day and this whole lake, the whole thing was gridded with tip-ups. There was only uh, about 30% of the lake was open to fishing and the other 70% was a tip-up grid. And, uh, and then of course I went on that, we had a small patch of open water and put up my tip-ups and I kind of knew things were over after that. And, yeah, Quaker Lake just hasn't been the same since since uh, since like the 2010s. Um, so sad, but there are still some big fish in here, especially this year. They stocked it with some giant trout. We're going to try it. There's still a few big pike in here, I think, and uh, there's definitely those big rainbows that they stocked, and I know we'll catch plenty of dink little perch. So uh, we're, gonna, we're out here. We're going to give it a shot and see how we do. The biggest fish of the day so far, and it's not big. <laughs> uh, we're... I'm gonna start packing it up probably after this fish. 
frustrated. Nothing but tiny perch when this is your biggest fish of the day. You know it was not a good day. And, I mean, we've been catching perch nonstop, but they're tiny, so. Well, today I'm out here with Nolan. This is his first time ever on the ice. So, uh, this is a bit different style of fishing than in Arizona, huh? Yeah. <laughs> They, uh, my sister's family moved back to Western New York from Arizona this summer, so um, no one's out here with me ice fishing for the first time, and uh, we're going to see how we do. I am about to use this fancy thing for the first time. This is my dad's. My dad is going to join us later on today. Um, oh, I need to put the battery on it. <laughs> that would be good. All right. I don't understand this. All right, I think I figured this thing out. All right. Something still is not right. Why is this stopping? <laughs> I don't understand why it keeps stopping. I don't know. I don't. I don't get this drill. It's uh, whatever. We got a hole drilled. <laughs> I'm gonna go a little bit slower this time. That was uh. Ah, there we go. Yeah. Wow. That works way better than the gas auger. That's for sure. Before we set up the shanty. All right. Come on, Nolan. So I told Nolan I'll take every flag until I catch a fish. Just to show him what to do, and then after that he'll take every flag. After I catch a fish, I'll let him take every flag until he catches a fish, and then I'll do every other flag after that. First flag. Yeah, a bluegill might set it off. The fact that it's not spinning when we came over here is not a good sign. No, I don't know. Oh yeah, it's going that way. Something definitely... You just, like, wing it? Something definitely... Yeah, I, I, I mean, so, I, I'm just going to reset the flag, but, How do you really um, you just do it all with your hands. Yeah, no, something bought, something pulled it into the weeds, for sure. Something definitely pulled it into the weeds. I don't think that's, a bluegill wouldn't move with it that much. Let's see if the bait's still on there. Cool, well, we had our first flag, so that's exciting. I think, I have a feeling that fish is still down there and that that's going to go off again. Told you that fish would come back. Oh, it's been in this time. I'm gonna try and grab it before he drops it this time. Just like we yanked it. Got him. <laughs> yeah, it's not very big. Not bad though. Oh yeah. All right, we're on the board. Oh, that's a rainbow trout. Brown trout. Wait, that's a brown trout. A little one. Are we keeping it? Okay. It's a little one. Hey, it's a start. Is it brown? Yeah. It looks like a rainbow. Alright, Nolan. Well, you saw what I did there. <laughs> so every flag after this is now yours. Alright, we got a start for the day. <laughs> awesome. Awesome, awesome. Cool. On the board. Alright, give me a high five. Alright, every flag after that. Is after this now is uh, is yours until you catch a fish. Oh, that's ours. And that's ours, Nolan. All right, that one's the one's just under the ice. It's got to be a trout. Yeah, I want to take a picture of this one. There was no wind either, so 100% of fish set that off. It's not doing anything, is it? Let's look at it. A minnow. All, all mine have minnows. I do it myself. Let's let's look at the bait real quick and just carefully and. Uh oh. We, we need a, you know, we, we should have brought a scoop with us. <laughs> you want to go grab a scoop? I can't even get this thing out of here. It's frozen in. Yeah, yeah somebody. Come back down. I'm going to bring mine up. Okay, that's me. 
I see me, I see you. Oh, what happened to the fish? I don't know. It's you. That one's me. The fish is still there. See that the fish is the red dot underneath my jig right now. I think he's looking at my jig. I don't know if he's looking at you or if he's looking at me. Now he's looking at yours. <laughs> one of us is gonna get this fish, Nolan. What is he gonna do? We'll make the other one. Oh, that spike. <laughs> I'm, I'm hoping it's you too. I want you to catch something. You, you saw we saw a fish. That's a good thing. <clears throat> this is you, Nolan. You know what to do. Yeah, I got this. Grab that line. The minute you start feeling them tugging on it, give it a light pull. Got him? Oh. Do you got it? No. Oh, man. I bite again. Okay, yeah. Well, I keep see if he bites again then. Might hey, be a little crap. You have it? You have it? Oh yeah, it's on there. Bring it in. Bring it in, Nolan. You got him. You're right. He's on there. You're right. <laughs> You're right. It's just small. It's on there. Oh, Let him take drag if you have to. Oh, it's a trout. Nice, Nolan. Nice. Is that a brown trout? Yep, that's a brown trout. That's our first brown trout. <laughs> Uh, let's see if we can measure him with this. Twelve inches? Twelve inches? Yep. Twelve, maybe eleven and a half. I'd, I'd say, I'd call it twelve. He's bleeding. Yeah, I'd call it twelve. Let me get your picture with him. He's bleeding, he's dead anyway. I'd say what we keep it and if we don't want it, we can give it to somebody in the parking lot. It's like a trout school just swam by. <laughs> they must have went up at the exact same time. <laughs> Yours is not spinning. I can't see mine yet. Mine has definitely spun. It's not currently spinning. And mine definitely spun. And yeah, it's you can my minnows beat up. Something definitely was on it and dropped it. <laughs> my dad uh, is not shut out. What is that? A perch? I think it's a perch. Looks like a perch from here. Yeah, yellow on perch. A <laughs> on a night crawler. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Made my day. Nice. He's just pulling. We're pulling flags, and uh, that one had a fish on it. <laughs> First fish of the year for for Papa. So I know it was getting dark at that point in the video. There was a perch on my dad's tip up at the end when he's taking it out of the water. So we all caught fish. None of us ended up skunked. Nolan got on his first ever fish on the hard water, so that was exciting. Hope you enjoyed today's adventure. Most of the big, big waters in my area are now safe, like the Allegheny Reservoir. And Lake Erie itself is even getting close. So uh, for the rest of the ice season, we should be targeting some big fish on big water. And the Allegheny River is also getting safe as well in, in certain areas, which is exciting because that doesn't always happen. So uh, I'm going to be targeting some big fish on bigger waters from here on out. And I'm excited for that. So be sure to subscribe and we'll catch you in the next adventure.